and we are live stream 36 already that's it's been crazy 36 streams from up, of about maybe 1.5 hours so in total no oh. idea how much but a lot <laughs> um so yeah i let me take the chat i'm so excited for the bad batch tomorrow oh is there a new trailer I didn't watch new... that one yeah there uh, apparently there's a trailer for each character or maybe it's, oh. it's just maybe it's fan made but um yeah, I, I saw some new trailers pop up, so that's why. Welcome Elite Clone Films, welcome Mr. Cheetah, welcome The Brick Montage, welcome Daniel, long time no see, glad that you're here, man, really appreciate it. Welcome Scott Davis, how are you guys? Hope you all are having a great day. Still need to silence my computer, sorry. I'll do that right now. Awesome. Um, I hope you guys can see everything clearly, can hear me and G clearly. Oh, that's cool uh, to hear, Emily, uh, that you're catching up with the yeah. monsters. She's watching it more than me at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> um, welcome, Studio64. Welcome, Steve Kilowatt. Uh, welcome, Brick Blast. How are you guys doing? Glad that you all uh, could make the stream, means a lot. Welcome BFS Production. How are you guys all doing? So my plan for this stream is um, like you guys saw the platform already installed in the building episode, but if we're being honest, uh, it wasn't properly installed. So that's what I'm going to try at least now because it's a bit of a tedious work, uh, not that easy. Also like, um bad connections is there a better way to maybe we need to um do something with technic pins geoffrey could work maybe in instead of these stupid <laughs> connections because the, mm, this doesn't work that well i mean it does the job but if we want to proper install it then we'll need something else um yeah welcome humors lego and welcome spider x studios as well as a welcome to exidroid yeah exidroid i today i catched up with your um uh totally for wakanda yeah with your uh, wakanda series finally being busy um oh that's all right studio 64 maybe i'll see it um after the stream if I uh, find some time. Thanks for being here, do, uh, though. From 1 to 10, how much uh, are you excited for Bad Batch? Um, yeah, Elite Clone Film said it perfectly, 11. <laughs> um, <laughs> I catched up. At least I'm now at Season 5, Episode 1 of The Clone Wars. I'm re-watching it. So like the past days i've been grinding episodes <laughs> um no i'm not at episode one i'm already at episode two or three i'm now on uh, the part with um guerrera on uh, alderon yeah um, so the, the part that i didn't uh, know about so i'm glad that i'm seeing that again but hey guys i'm glad that you all showed up really means a lot i'm uh, excited to stream Spider Rick Studios, um, those mod troopers look sick. It got, yeah, I already thought something like that. It got through, yeah, they're cool. Eh? Um, we have a pretty large army. We like, we don't know when we will show off all the minifigs that will be used in uh, this mock, but I'm pretty excited for it. Um, but yeah, yeah, I'll have to uh... think. Is it yeah. clone army customs? I don't know, uh, or AV. I wasn't really paying that much attention on Snap uh, on Instagram, but they're making phase two versions of them. Ooh, really cool looking. Sounds, yeah, sounds interesting. Probably way too expensive, but hey. <laughs> yeah, of course. 
Uh, welcome to Scum Productions. Ben Bricks, how are you guys doing today? Do you have a Discord server? Yes, we have. Geoffrey will drop the link. Yeah. Geoffrey will be the link dropper today. So I think for the platform, it's best to just. I think this is high high enough, right? Or no, it's lower yeah, than we. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't have to can... be high. But just yeah, make sure can... that it's uh, still fits with the mountain. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I'm thinking what's the best option that we have to make this a really strong connection. Oh yeah, I need to take in account the mountain. That's right. Wait, I'll have to check. Uh, I'd love to get some those days. Uh, these days, yeah, definitely, man. They are worth buying. Uh, welcome, Ov Brick Studios. No, not Ov Brick Studios. Ov Bricks, man. Uh, how are you doing today? Glad that you could make the stream. I'm going to build some uh, clone base, and actually, I think that the next streams all will be clone base streams. Um, why? Because we kind of ran out of streaming content. Um, so we first have to film some videos and then we can destroy some mocks. So that's why we're streaming right now. And probably the next streams will be clone based because the streams are the only moments that we like their exams are coming closer and we have loads of work for school. Uh, and we don't have that much time to work on the clone base. So it would be nice to just work on it on streams. And then you will definitely see the progress in the episode as well, but Always nice to have some progress on stream with you guys. Uh, Firestore Toys Cody. Oh, cool. Sounds cool, Exidroid. Um, yeah, like phase one or phase two. Welcome, Alex Lego City. Glad that you're here, man. Really enjoyed your stop motion. Uh, was really cool to see. Uh, like the perch are so cool. Like those movies are really fun and enjoyable to watch. Maybe because there are people dying, I don't know. Could be a dark, dark thing of me. I do see a spot for Excel pieces though. So maybe we can try something with that. Hmm. Oh, good. Yeah, because I don't I don't like this, man. It's way too, it doesn't work that well. Uh, welcome, Austrian Brick Time. Glad you could make the stream as well as a welcome to Bricks on YouTube. Welcome, man. How are you guys doing today? Um, oh, yeah. Tuscan Raider bought it as well. That's pretty cool. Is it uh, you two phase two? <laughs> you two phase two. Did you buy uh, phase two as well, Tuscan? Scott Davis. Besides the Bad Batch, anyone doing anything for May the 4th? No, we actually we didn't think about that, but maybe next year yeah definitely next year but we don't really have anything planned for may the fourth <laughs> like we could do something fun on the channel but i don't think that uh, i'm really excited for the bad batch that's the in most important thing and then we're probably going to buy some stuff some promos um, probably yeah spend some money because it will be cheaper now um than in a few weeks i guess I usually learn a new lightsaber move every year. That sounds pretty cool. Geoffrey is pretty interested in that. Um, yeah. Mo most probably more samurai stuff, etc. But um, I guess that lightsabers come pretty close. Austrian Brick Time says, hey, what's up? Sorry, but I can't stay for that long. Oh, don't worry about it. Austrian Brick Time really appreciate you being showing up. Worked really hard today, so yeah. But I hope it's not so bad for you. How do you think about my ride look project? Looks really cool, man. Um, like the rock work and the rock phase above your um, entrance. Pretty, pretty dope, man. Pretty dope. Uh, blasting, <laughs> blasting the Star Wars main team in my garden at one a.m. in the morning. Sounds epic. <laughs> Tuscan Productions. Sounds epic. Yes, the P2 version. Oh, that's pretty cool, man. You'll have to send a picture, or maybe I can search it. Uh, don't worry about it. But sounds cool, man. Glad that you um, could pick that up. Apparently, there's a Lego store in Brussels. Yes, uh, I talked to Geoffrey about that. It's uh, That one is bigger um, than the one in uh, Antwerp. 
Voor jij in Nijmegen. Niet in Nijmegen, not Nijmegen. Weinig in. Ja. Um, <laughs> so yeah. We'll have to take a look, me and Joffrey. <laughs> um, but yeah, with Corona, etc. So I don't think there is really something special. They didn't really do something special for the opening, I think. Um, <laughs> who is in the UK and who is in the US? I'm in the UK. No, no, no. Uh, we're in Belgium. <laughs> you're, a, you're a US guy, right? Elite Clone Films? Took your advice and I'm working on a mock and I will probably be uploading twice a month. Thanks. Oh, that's awesome, Brick Montage. Uh, really loved your mock, so I'm excited to see some. Got to go, bye, bye. Don't worry about it, uh, Mr. Cheetah. Thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate your support. Bricks on YouTube says, I bought, uh, for, I bought me from Fire Toys, the, the P2 Rex and some pauldrons and visors. I hope they are good. Yeah, we'll have to check out Fire Toys. I mean, Joffrey knows it, but I don't really know it that well. And everybody is always talking about it. So maybe I'll have to check it out. I've been so bored over the past six days. I have to quarantine for two more days until I can... Uh, go back to school. I got exposed to Corona. Oh, that sounds uh, horrible. No spider. Sorry, man. Hopefully, um, you can. Yeah, you you still have to wait two days. Hopefully, you can do something fun or catch up with some, watch some good movies or something. Make a really cool stop motion, something like that. There is a question for Joffrey in chat from Austrian Break Time. Yes. So uh, I'm working at it at the moment. So yeah, mm, interesting. <laughs> that's that. <laughs> interesting. Past week has been boring. We all want the bad batch. <laughs> so, that's that's, <laughs> that's come production. Yeah, I've been catching up to some uh, series that I'm watching. Um, I'm in UK. I'm in US. I swear, printed arms are the best upgrade for your fix. Yeah, I can imagine Exidroid because like the body itself and the legs it's all all right the arms are just blank it's all right blank arms but i i can imagine that printed arms upgrade your minifix a lot because furthermore you can't really upgrade it except for buying a new helmet uh custom decal and really detailed of course but like the general lego minifigures to make them a bit more detailed uh i can imagine that arm printing does the job really well Um, yeah, we saw <laughs> Coconut Brick Studios Utapar last night. It was crazy, right? Like his um, his uh, premiere had um, 140 views almost all the time, 130, 140 views all the time for 25 minutes straight. That's just a watch hour bomb, man. Yeah, it's crazy. And now it's already at 6K views and I think over eight eight or 900 likes already. So almost 1k likes, um, but yeah, he deserves it. Mock looks really impressive. Really happy for him. Hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to have such audience on a premiere one day. 50 people for the finale of uh, Genosis would be really cool already. That's something that I would like to arrange. Um, probably by the end of June, beginning of July, uh, do the premiere with 50 people. If we announce it on time and make some uh, advertise it well, then we'll definitely try to. Uh, I think our biggest premiere already had 52 of views. I think uh, people watching at the same time, uh, our mock contest um, winners announcement video had that. So hopefully one day. Max, like you spelled my name, Austrian Brick Times on the tweet. <laughs> oh, this comment is not too strange. No, 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 don't worry about it. I would recommend them along with, yeah, World War II in color. It's still on my uh, to watch list, man. I still need to watch it. Um, they played it here in the movies, in the theaters, um, in IMAX, I think. So I, I really wanted to see that with my dad, but no, didn't have the time for it. But uh, it's something that I still want to watch because I'm really interested in that stuff. Uh, that's already nice, 34 Elite Clone Films. Keep on grinding, man, keep on grinding. Everyone will get there eventually. 
gave me so much motivation to make a Clone Wars mock in the future. Yeah, Exidroid, I saw your comment. Um, I can imagine. I'm also pumped to build uh, and finish mocks, etc. But yeah, school. It's been busy. School, school. I hate to see him tear it down. It is a really. It really is a piece of art. Yes, yeah, Scott Davis. But I think he needs to break it down pretty fast, right? Because he's moving out. Um, the like that's the positive about Geonosis. Like ninety five percent of the pieces that are in Geonosis, I bought for that mock. Um, so that's something that I could keep a bit longer. Uh, not gonna keep it for months, of course not, <laughs> but just a few weeks could work just check, checked his channel that mock is big uh he has too many dark ten slopes yeah man he but yeah that's the thing with uh, coconut um like he had tons of black pieces tons of uh, green pieces and now tons of 10 pieces because i think this is his third the third huge mock he makes right um so like next he will for his next mock he'll probably have to buy loads of new pieces again because his collection is just now dark tan green and black so that's that's i know that's that's just it will be expensive <laughs> that's all that i want to say about it i have 111 111 subs that's all right that's cool austin big time i remember you hitting 100 not that long ago so that's nice Hey, what's up, G and M? How are you guys? Welcome, Lego My Lego. Glad that you're here, man. Really appreciate it. That's a lot, um, Tuscan Productions. Oh, <laughs> 1991. Welcome, Space Bricks. Glad you could make the stream. I don't think I've seen you here before, so really appreciate it. Guys, if you haven't already dropped a like, definitely go do that. Is it good or bad that I'm rapidly gaining subs? It's good, man. Um, like every sub counts. We were rapidly, no, now it's back to all right. Um, we had a slow moment, but now we're we're gaining uh, like we used to do. So that's nice. What do you think of the Bad Bad Shuttle being sand blue? I don't think it is or uh, will be the accurate color. No, it won't. Like after they released it and said, yeah, sand blue, I immediately checked the footage that we had from the Bad Batch Shuttle, from the Bad Batch uh, series that will come out tomorrow. And I looked at it for a few moments, or not a few moments, for a pretty long time. And in my opinion, sure, you could say, oh, it has a blue shine or something on it. You could, like, you could argue that, but no, it's just gray, light gray. It's light gray. <laughs> why sand blue it's weird man it's weird oh i'm not ready for german austrian big time <laughs> i'll have to wait <laughs> a bit welcome <laughs> as the productions glad you could make it to the stream i was at uh, like 190 subs one week or two ago that's nice uh, spider exodus on oh yeah 200 subs the other day that's congrats man congrats deserved your stop motions are pretty cool Everyone <laughs> saying how many subs they have. Bad Batch trailer dread, uh, dropped about an hour ago. Yeah, true. I said it to Geoffrey, um, Tuscan Productions, when the stream started. Pretty sure that I saw a new trailer pop up on my screen right before the stream. Going to kill the like dislike buttons. How do you mean kill? <laughs> Press on it until it's go, until it's broken. Renaissance con. That's a long time that I've seen you um welcome long time ago welcome to the stream man glad you could make it kylo ren uh shuttle instead of the bad bad shuttle yeah i don't know man if we're getting the bad bad shuttle it will depends uh on what joffrey wants to do <laughs> um, <laughs> thanks for being here uh, elite clone films welcome tamika cotter glad you could make stream i'm gonna take my pieces real fast so you'll have to entertain this job <laughs> oh yeah, no worries, man. Ovi Brick says YouTube is getting rid of the dislike buttons. Yeah, I've heard that it was gonna be like um, uh, something that you could 
choose as a creator like if you don't want to you can take away the dislike and like button on your video not like you can do now now you can disable it but like completely take it away um yeah i'm not really sure how i feel about it personally because like if you can't even dislike a video that you don't like then it's getting a bit too much over the top i feel like yeah, not much to do about it. Austrian brick time is talking a lot of Dutch in the chat to space bricks. Not Dutch. Uh, uh, what German. am I saying? German. Yeah. <laughs> My brain is dead, man. Like, I had a presentation today for English. Uh, oh, yeah. How, how yeah, I, I told you before. And, like, the lesson before the presentation was French. Uh, oh, and awesome. and, and the, whole, the whole lesson was um, oral. So we had to talk a lot during it yeah, yeah. and uh my partner for the english presentation was also the guy uh with whom with whom i was uh doing the french <laughs> and we were both talking to each other like damn man if you have to talk one word extra french we're gonna blow our presentation <laughs> stuff like that but yeah we did really well um yeah. we were the first yes. team uh, the first duo to go because like Olaf, our professor, asked, yeah, who wants to go first? And I was like, yeah, fuck it, we'll go first. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, because it's like um, there are four weeks uh, in which the duos have to do their presentation. And every week he gets uh, a specific topic. And we had career building. So we didn't want uh, to uh, be like the sixth group and basically repeat what the first five oh, had yeah, told. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so yeah, I was just like, yeah, we'll go first. But uh, apparently we had something totally different than all the other groups, so it wouldn't have mattered anyway. But yeah, we went first, uh, smashed it right out of the park. I didn't have to say any um, 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 like I usually oh, do, nice. so I was pretty happy. And like I forgot about two sentences and Renzo forgot uh, like a small part, but nothing really major. So we did really well. And uh, the professor only had like po positive things to say about it. So I'm pretty happy with it. <laughs> That's nice, man. That's nice. Um, I make a mock if this time, wait, uh, YouTube is getting rid of the dislike buttons. I mean, that's all right. I don't mind. Um, I guess that it's like it's a good thing to do because it is um, like it motivates a lot a like on a video. So, I mean, good call, YouTube. Good call. Definitely good call. Oh, I got an idea. I don't know if it's a good idea, but I got an idea. <laughs> <laughs> Like I wanted to use this piece, guys. Like this piece uh, looked like a really good piece, but I, I needed oh, I needed a bit more angled. Um, yeah, a, a lot more, not a bit more, a lot more angled. But I'm searching now. It's usually a piece that I don't sort, so maybe I have some better ones still in my boxes, um, but don't know. But I could also use something like this. A piece like this and just put another one next to it uh, and then those both pieces can have that uh, a certain angle and this last clip can then go in the brick that needs to connect it so that will work uh, as well then i saw uh Renesis con said something about a lo loads of schoolwork. yeah don't worry about it man uh, life can be busy sometimes so glad that you're here now uh, that's all that matters Really appreciate it. Um, then bye go guys have to go. That's all right, Steve Kilowatt. Thanks for being here. Really appreciate your support. Can I ask you something? Yes, of course, Tamika. Welcome, Sea Bacon. Glad you could make the stream, man. How are you doing today? As well as a welcome to Finn Cooler Price. How are you doing, man? How are you doing today? Glad you all could make this stream. That's good. Good that you are all here. It means a lot. Um, I need a certain... Oh yeah, I remember which piece I need. 
I'm so alone. No, you talk with me in the chat. How do I mean hazy productions? I don't uh, don't get what you're saying. I put something in my uh, thigh while doing squats. Oh no, man, that sounds painful. Ah, uh... yeah, that can be really worse, or it can just be something that doesn't really matter that much. But <laughs> yeah, can be like... worse. Can be yeah. How how bad is the pain? Because if it's like just minor, it will probably go away in a little time. But what did you do in terms of uh, squats? Was it like just normal body weight or were you putting a lot of weight on it? Did you take like 30, 40, 60 kgs extra? Or because like if, if you pulled a lot of weight, you might have like pulled a muscle or something. That's not fun. Ugh. No, sounds no, definitely not fun. No. Yeah. Also, fun fact about my first boxing lesson. Uh, so I haven't done any real sport except for weightlifting since um, when I quit soccer, football. So two years, I think. And I can tell you, man, my condition was dead oh, like, yeah. <laughs> I'm, i was a, yeah. i was a goner like it was a group of four people and like <laughs> i i was like the youngest guy then there was like a girl that was like 20 21 or something and like my condition was so bad after like 30 minutes i, I was gasping for air <laughs> and the dude was yeah, like but I, I, I can't are you okay man and i was like yeah yeah i just need to start working on my condition so uh, after that workout, I decided to start my cut uh, tomorrow instead of another month. I'm going to start tomorrow because uh, mm. fuck it. I want a little bit of condition back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, same with tennis practice. It was it has been two years and uh, like, yeah, I was tired immediately after a few. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like 10 minutes or something on the field and I was tired as hell. So. I can imagine. <clears throat> so yeah, I found the right pieces. Just need to install it properly because I'm a bit struggling right now. Where? Oh, here. Uh, and I also have the feeling that I need a shorter one, but that's maybe not the case. Oh, I can't wait. <clears throat> wait, wait, wait. Uh, yeah, don't it doesn't hurt all the time, it just hurts when I do more squats. Oh, then then it will be all right. Um, I'll see bacon, I think it will be all right then. Uh, oh, that's all right. I think of price. Th thanks for being a man. Good luck with school tomorrow. Uh, soon they will be removing commons cause of toxicity. <laughs> <laughs> I don't hope, uh, I like, I really hope they don't, otherwise. Yeah, the fun thing about YouTube is getting comments. <laughs> That's uh, like, yeah, talking with your subscribers is the most fun part. Uh, ist auf meinem ba banner. Um, I understand that, but I don't think. Wait. <laughs> yeah, it's on sec. your banner. Yeah, it's on your banner. That's what you said, right? But I don't know what you're. Mm, what you mean with it's on responding to someone or something yeah maybe. probably i don't know we figures got some new customs tomorrow uh yeah yeah probably because of may the fourth yeah well welcome blue harvest bricks welcome to stream glad you could make it as well as a welcome to uh commander brick but he can't stay that's all right commander brick really appreciate you turning up though ah man i've like I fixed it like this works. Mm -hmm. No, it, it doesn't work that well because I still <laughs> need to fine tune it, but it works a bit. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a nice connection. Like I know the lightning is really bad in the room, but it works. Works a bit indeed. Just need to plug it in here, like you guys can see, it doesn't work at all. <laughs> oh wait, no, it's the other way around. That's that explains a lot. All right, yeah, this does the job, man. This does the job. 
I'm happy. Great. Yeah, we still now we just need some. Yeah, I don't know how to connect it a bit better. Can you like because the the Excel pieces still move a lot? So I just threw it in here. So I'll have to <laughs> search a way to make them a bit stronger. The connection. Uh, let's try to catch up on chat a little bit. <laughs> uh, Ovi says it is going to upload every day next week because it's a uh, made of for it. Star Wars good, week. Have you thought about what you're gonna upload? Is it gonna be a full series of something specific or just like a random video each day? Uh, Tamika says A figure is making the 313 battalion and Shadow of the Republic customs. Uh, they're coming out tomorrow for May the 4th. That's nice to hear. Haven't seen the um, the Shadow yet, but I've seen the uh, 313 Horn Company. Uh, Austrian says that he will go to bed now. Uh, stay healthy, my guy. That's all right, man. Thanks for being here. And C. Bacon is working on some instructions for a V-Wing. Ooh, V-Wing sounds good. Yeah, I hope uh, that everybody is excited mm. for the Bad Batch. As Tamika is saying, they come out mm. tomorrow, or at least the first episode. Uh, that's fine, Ovi. Good luck with school. Spider mm. Duck Studios asks, Est-ce que tu parles français? Uh, oui, uh, mm. nous parlons un petit peu de français enough <laughs> like it's all right yeah <laughs> it's crap but it does the we, job we can manage for maybe 10 sentences and then we probably switch over to english if we're in france or something <laughs> uh, comments are great they can make your day so much better yes indeed to brick montage that's what i was saying i really hope youtube doesn't remove comments ever like why would they do that um, indeed, they make your day better, uh, and everyone deserves a good day. So, why would YouTube do something like that? True. Um, okay. Thoughts on the new art for the Star Wars movies on Disney Plus? I like all of them except Attack of the Clones because my he person. Uh, the person who drew it drew Anakin, Mace, and Padme with huge eyes. No disrespect to the illustrator, just not the biggest fan of the style. I haven't paid attention no, haven't. to that. No, like, but I'll, I'll see after the stream. Yeah. Well, I'll check right now. <laughs> Yesterday yeah. I went to... Uh, I don't think I went to the Star Wars um, section, but I did watch Disney Plus Clone Wars. Um, yeah, I didn't notice those no yeah. same is it like a big change like a completely new design or just like some color tweaks and small adjustments like because making it them have today. bigger eyes seems like something weird to do because it's <laughs> like it isn't animated or anything like it just a dude from a movie why make the eyes bigger <laughs> um Ovi Bricks, glad that you can stay for another 10 minutes. <laughs> nice. Ah, shit. <laughs> Wait, what? I, I was uh, editing something and like I selected, but I selected the part that I didn't need instead of the part that I do need. So I screwed it up a little bit. Luckily, there's something like control sets and you can just go back to the previous thing you did. Oh, Fun yeah. fact that I didn't know, but Control Z is like a universal hotkey. It works yes, in indeed. in like it every program, pretty yeah. handy. Even on your um, like in 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 your Windows, pretty sure if you close down a page, uh, you can Control Z and it will open again. It's okay. Yeah, like, it 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 is everywhere, even on spots that you wouldn't think it um exists so that's nice yeah so this is this is how it will look guys so uh, i installed the technic uh pins and then i just need to put this brick between them but the problem is that i need an extra man here to keep it, <laughs> keep <laughs> it in the air yeah <laughs> hmm 
that sucks. It's like right in the middle. It's like they they come together right in the middle on those two spots. Oh. I think that's an easy fix because some pieces have another um, way of yeah. Some pieces have another have another way of connecting. Uh, yeah, like, I can uh, with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, we'll take a look though. I think, or I was thinking, to might <laughs> put up some chibi scale viewing instructions for made a fort for sale. That would be nice, man. Like make a little money, make people happy on made a fort. Sounds like a good mm -hmm. plan. Uh, then Tamika mm -hmm. asks, "Are you buying the new AV figure custom?" new av figures custom figures tomorrow uh no probably <laughs> not unless i like rob a bank and get a lot of money i'm pretty sure that's not in mm. our small budget at the moment <laughs> aren't uh, we robbing that bank tomorrow i thought we said that oh, we shit. <laughs> i thought we we said we were going to rob that bank tomorrow yeah, and make a, a large genosis mock of 26 gray base plates. Wow. Yeah, I thought that was the plan <laughs> for tomorrow. God damn it. No, we were going to rob that Lego store in Brussels, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, true, true. I remember. <laughs> welcome, Wireless Hotspot. Also, welcome to Brick Chaos. How are you guys doing? Glad you guys could make the stream, man. Happy to see you here. Uh, means a lot that you guys are here. Um... Appreciate it. And buy bricks on YouTube. Thanks for uh, tuning in, man. Really appreciate it. Uh, they are thinking about it, see, Bacon. I'm pretty sure they haven't uh, removed them yet because you can still dislike the stream, which I would not advise to do. I would <laughs> advise to like the stream. <laughs> no, what? No, yeah, definitely, guys. Likes are a bit more appreciated than dislikes. OV says, please, YouTube, only take away the comments from channels getting hated on. Otherwise, leave us alone, YouTube. We want complete control over our channels. Yeah, definitely. Yes, please. But like, then again, if if you're really so upset with the hate you get on a video, you can always turn off your comments. Or you can go through your comment section and delete every single comment. Like, no, <laughs> wouldn't I, I don't... recommend it. I don't see a, a use for YouTube to like start terminating comment sections. Nah. True. Oh, see, Bacon says they are completely different because they're illustrations, not uh, like movie oh. renders. So, yeah, sense. damn. I'll have to check that out because that's actually pretty dope, I feel. If they're done good, of course. <laughs> if. <laughs> If they're done good, indeed. The conjugation in French is what really gets me. What's wrong with it, man? It's really hard to learn. Yeah. Mm, I don't know. Like, in Belgium, we learn it pretty quick in schools. Okay. Like, French. We learn French pretty quick. So, also, yeah, like, uh, almost okay. half... Half the country, uh, half the population of Belgium speaks French uh, as their first language, and a lot of people speak it decently. Not half. not half; it's less, but a decent amount. But yeah, I don't know. The, the conjugation is pretty mm, all right. I feel it's not that hard. I think it's a lot harder for like uh, French people to try to speak. Uh, English because 99% oh, yeah. of the time that's <laughs> if you hear them talk English you just yeah you start laughing basically it's pretty funny uh, C. Bacon also says I feel like the best sealant is the one I just got last week from Hobby Lobby uh, designed for craft stuff uh, it's designed for craft stuff so it works well with decals and it's much more smooth uh, matte finish that's nice to hear man like, um, I don't know, maybe drop a link in one of the Discord chats about it. Uh, yeah. I, I know that there are a couple of guys that are decalling, uh, that are part of the, that are part of the Discord server. So maybe they can look into that. Uh, Spider Duck says, I'm moving to the next level of French next year, French two, I'm in French one right now. Uh, yeah, 
with us it's just like you have uh french you just every have to year suck until it up, man. you're graduated yeah <laughs> like it's not like um a course that you can choose it's in every package unless you go to like uh i don't know i think teso fifth and sixth year and stuff don't have it but all the major uh um yeah iso as it's that's basically like um economics uh science um what else is in iso i don't know i forgot um, <laughs> haven't thought about it long enough um so so yeah i don't know how uh, you pronounce. human sciences i guess yeah yeah, yeah yeah like philosophy and stuff they have it as well yeah, and let them they Latin also have french of course yeah <clears throat> so yeah we are we all had french uh if you went for uh like um a study that had eight hours of math uh like mathematics you had less hours of french but you still had french it was like two or three hours a week oh, that you had it so yes perfect. no getting away yes. from it <laughs> it works perfect. and now you have yeah. to design rock work around it <laughs> yeah i know i know it's bad but hey this works and, and uh, actually it's pretty strong because the studs on this um yeah the studs on these mm -hmm. technique pieces keep prevent the bars from falling down so it's it's pretty yeah it's like that's way pretty better nice. than the, the thing that we had before <laughs> yeah, <laughs> also, yeah um hey wireless hotspots wasn't your name wireless productions yeah i can remember the same uh brick chaos yeah he changed it a long time ago or yeah not that long but he he, Long enough. he has been here uh he has been to the streams with the new name that he has right now um looks like i'll quickly have to take a back of um dark 10 so i can finish off this area uh tamika back. says the the bad bad show is coming out tomorrow are you going to watch it tomorrow uh yeah um i'm hoping that i have some time before the stream to like quickly watch it uh, but I'm pretty sure that I'll be watching it before stream, or that's at least what I'm planning to do. I'm not sure about Max. He can answer it when he's back. Exidroid says, I wish I had an in real life Lego Star Wars friend. Well, Exidroid, whenever we can uh, meet in real life, you will have two in real life Lego Star Wars friends. So that's something to look forward to, man. Uh, C Bacon says a new AV 313 fix don't even get custom printed legs. They use the horn company legs. Oh, really? Isn't that like more expensive to make? Because you have to get the legs from the real fig, or how does that work? Uh, Elite Clone Films, I just put the Discord link in the chats, so I hope that works for you uh yeah brick chaos i'm guessing that is a bad thing i'm not sure about it though Wait, uh, c bacon says good for av because they're saving money but bad for customers because they're getting less out of their money yeah but i don't know like horn company isn't that crazy cheap i'm not sure what the pricing is at the moment for them oh, uh, no, but ap apparently the 313 uh, fix from av the phase two will use uh, official Lego horn company legs. So yeah, I'm not too sure about that one. Oh. Um, yeah, Elliot, oh, I put the link in the chat. Uh, IRL means in real life, uh, it's something that we use quite a bit in Belgium in chats and stuff. I don't know about uh, in other countries. I would expect that you guys use it because it's it's English. English. <laughs> yeah. Um, Spider Duck says English is one of the hardest languages to learn. Uh, I don't know about that one. I feel like for Wait, most English for most Germanic languages, such oh, as no. uh, Dutch, German, um, a couple of it's others, the, I feel like it's really it's easy. The easiest, yeah. It's one you see, it, you see that, uh, like you see it a ton online. It's pretty. Uh, really available like if you watch a movie it's 
it's in English and the subtitles are your own language if, if you go to the cinemas in Belgium, for example. If you go in Brussels, it's both in Dutch and in French. Uh, but yeah, unless you're like a child that's eight, year, eight, eight years old and you go watch a movie, like those movies are most of the time dubbed in Dutch, but other than that, it's, it's all English. So it's pretty common and yeah, you catch on really fast. I remember yeah. when I had my first French class in the fifth, um, uh, yeah, school. So that's when you're ten or eleven years old. It was really, really hard, and I only had my first ever class of English uh, when I was fourteen, thirteen, going to fourteen uh, in the second year of middelbaar, quote unquote, um, and like I already could. Speak be decent English before I had that class. So like, we pick it up uh, in our day-to-day -day life, and we don't really have to go to classes to learn it, unless of course you are a pretty bad uh, case. Then you're gonna have to learn it the hard way. Yeah, yeah. Most English. people can speak <laughs> English really well. Yeah, yeah, I remember like in my class there was a dude, and he was like. I have to cut the vegetables with my kniffer, uh, <laughs> like, bruh. <laughs> but yeah, that's just um, when you read the things too much in Dutch, you speak a little bit uh, broken English, not much to do about it. I yeah, have, I don't definitely... know your problem, mm -hmm. but I can imagine, yeah. Elite's uh, clone film says, uh, is that an illegal technique? Uh, Max, I don't think that's an illegal technique. Oh well, no, it's not illegal at all, man. It's just um, technique pieces. But that's the thing. If you're a mock builder, I don't think loads of mock builders use technique pieces a lot. Uh, definitely yeah. not in the way they are intended intended to be used. So true. Like it's not if, illegal. If if you watch uh, like Lego Masters. I was really like dumbfounded by the way that some dudes didn't even know how to use technique. I was like, bruh, oh, yeah. <laughs> like at least you have used it once before. And those were like the architect dudes as well. Like they were, oh, I really don't like technique. And in my head, I was like, bruh, you're an architect. Why don't you like technique? It's like yeah, so useful. <laughs> I don't like it either, man. <laughs> Oh yeah, I, I, I find it fun because you can find some really easy solutions for problems, but I just find it so ugly. Like you have to cover it with bricks on both sides. Otherwise you have like those those holes in your brick. Don't like the look of it. Uh, Spider yeah. says, so it's understandable why non-native English speakers have a hard time speaking it. Yeah, I don't know. Like again, when we were like 14, 15 year olds, we already could speak quite a bit of yeah. English. And moving from the first to the second class of English, uh, I think most people knew more English <laughs> in that one class than 99% uh, of us knew in the four year French, the four yeah. years of French that we had before we even had a class of English. Like that's, that's just how it goes around here. Uh, not everyone moves to the next level, only about half of us do. All, on, all, on, all I know is <laughs> I need to get to French 3 before I can go to college. Um, yeah, here it really depends what you want to do. For example, uh, most um, studies that you can do at universities in Belgium and colleges in Belgium, you don't need the best French because you don't get the subject anymore. Uh, but when you go and do something related to economics, businesses, uh, and stuff like that, it's pretty important that you at least have a decent understanding and you still get French and English and speaking uh, and stuff like that. So it really depends. If you go and want to be like um, um, an architect or an engineer or something like that, um, yeah, or scientist, like you still have um, classes in English in your master years uh, in science, but other than that, you don't really have to um, keep your language up to date. Um, 
I'm a bit behind. Exidroid says, yeah, it will be fun to meet up. I also hope there will be some Lego conventions in Belgium. Would be dope, man. Like if Corona goes away a bit and there could be a convention, uh, yeah, I would really like to go together with Max. And if you could join us, it would be really cool, I think. Oh, okay. A piece just took off to space. Um, Amika we'll Kotter asks, are you, are you still getting the 213 battalion and shadow of the republic customs next time i'm not sure like if they if they look really cool and we feel like we can justify buying them then we will probably buy them but the chance that we can justify it in our heads to buy it is pretty small because like yeah, it's expensive. it's a mini business for uh, for us at the moment like we're pouring money in it and we hope to get a return at some point, but like we're not gonna spend a uh, thousand euros a month to get all the cool stuff that people wanna see, because uh, we can do that for probably two months <laughs> and then we're broke. Yeah, I don't want to spend my life savings on Lego. Yeah, I only spend the money that I make with uh, work and that I get from my parents for everyday business yeah um so yeah not planning on using it um indeed uh, axidroids i think it's very easy to learn since it's in all entertainment yeah indeed like you turn on the radio big chance that it's an english song on it occasionally you have dutch songs on it and very rarely it will be french or german but yeah those chances are pretty no, slim Ger german is very rarely <laughs> Never yeah. heard German on the Yo, yeah, the... I have like yeah, yeah, some of yeah. some of the okay, some of the sure. classics. If it's like the eighties uh hit parade or something, they will play like nine or nine hoof ballon and stuff like that. But yeah, it's yeah, rare, sure. definitely. It's rare. Uh yes, I know we say in German in real life, but I just had no I just hadn't known that IRL means that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Flanklish. Oh, <laughs> looks so beautiful. I'm so happy with how this looks, and it's sturdy, man. Yes, I'm happy. Nice. We did it, Geoffrey. Uh, we do have less space to work with, like one brick. <laughs> <Just, laughs> hey, yeah. Good enough. Good enough. What's the worst technique in terms of actually destroying pieces? Oh, I know, I, I know a technique, or not really a technique, a way to destroy pieces. Just use dark red and brown tiles and plates in your mocks, and you'll definitely destroy some. <laughs> and, and then you put down a lot of tiles, and you want to take out the center tile. If you try to do that, guaranteed one of your bricks is going to break. Yeah. Can, uh... <laughs> yeah, other than that, I don't know, man. Like, Lego is pretty sturdy, as long as you don't put crazy amounts of pressure on it uh, and try to bend it in crazy ways. You're not going to destroy your bricks that easily. Also, you have to make a really big construct construction if you want to like apply gravity uh, forces on it that will tear the bricks apart. So I'm pretty sure that you're good unless you're going to build like uh, those guys that are building the uh, Star Destroyer. Uh, at minifig scale, unless you're doing something crazy big like that, you're not gonna pull your bricks apart. Emily says, I just finished the episode of Lego Masters, but I'm not staying too long anymore. That's fine, Emily. Did you enjoy the episode, though? The Pinocchio one was the funniest technique fail. <laughs> like, they, those guys were bad. bad uh, like, was I'm glad that they didn't win. And also the funny thing was that, like they said in the beginning, um, like if you want to join Lego Master, you need to, um, like they are going to, how do I say this? Um, like the competition to get in Lego Masters itself is really hard. Um, they will control, not control. I'm like not the sure requirements what you're talking get, about. Uh, yeah it's it's hard to like you you maybe dutch yeah. and i'll give it a shot <laughs> i go on the uh that's what they're not so much like being a lot that's what they're uh the, yeah, yeah, so, yeah yeah qualifications yeah 
Yeah, I know what you're talking about. No, indeed. But I think that we would check all the boxes to get inside it. I'm yeah, true. Sure. But how, how how did those Maybe, guys get inside? Yeah, that, that's my but, question. But I think, like, on the one hand, they look at your qualifications and if you are good enough to be in the show. And on the other hand, and I think this one is more important, they take a look at what can you bring of entertainment value to the show. Because, like, I, I'm... I'm 100% sure that there are way better builders that didn't get in the show, that didn't make the cut, because, like, oh, no, like, these two guys are pretty funny together. And for um, the guys in the Netherlands, they will really uh, be good to target that audience and, like, stuff like that, commercial business that we don't no care idea. freak about. No pretty idea. sure. But, like, it's the same with, like, some stupid shows, like, Come uh, eten, for example, like millions of not millions, but thousands yeah, of people, that's, that's thousands of <laughs> yeah, like thousands of people want to join it, and I'm so sure that our that there are a ton of great cooks that want to join that show, but it's just like who's gonna make the best uh, um, ratings, who's gonna get the most views? So yeah, wasn't there a German band called? Uh, I think you spelled Jenkins Khan wrong, but uh, yeah, I guess so. Who dressed up in Mongolian attire and sang to Russians. Bruh. <laughs> that would be so weird and I think cool as well. I'm not too yeah. familiar with Mongolian songs. I know mm -hmm. of uh, Mongolian throat singers. Uh, yeah, gale singers. And like they have some really deep and um, crazy voices. It sounds like um i don't know what to call it it's like um a boss that's really tuned down and low it's, it's really cool if you hear them uh but yeah not sure i'm pretty sure that samuel kim used um inspiration from mongolian um singers in one of his mandalorian um remixes so maybe you guys know that not sure uh welcome Hello, to the stream cool. Yeah, Brick yeah, you Battalion. go for it, man. Welcome, Brick Battalion. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Glad you could make it, man. I'm currently installing the platform, um, like from the Clone Base series. Uh, you guys saw the platform already in two episodes, and yes, it worked, but it wasn't sturdy at all. So I'm now properly installing it, uh, and. Probably tomorrow we'll also do some building uh, a clone base stream. I don't know. It's something nice to do, and we don't have that many time uh, for it, to make an episode from it. Um, yeah, Geoffrey knows we just have yeah not that many time. <laughs> no, nope. like we we have three hours or something each week to make an episode sure like we don't upload it every week so we still have some time but at least definitely not enough to make it or yeah like it's enough but if you want to get some progress done i'll have to build some on stream so that's what i'm doing right now and i'm really enjoying it uh i'm gonna start my new mock pretty soon but i need a good amount of base plates Ooh, yeah me and g don't need base plates anymore i'm pretty no, sure that we have tw tw 24 or something in total um Enough. we have lo <laughs> loads of base plates um from the past uh, i was a pretty big lego city fan so yeah i think I they don't base plates take the best builder so they don't win instantly yeah like no probably. that's weird man no but no, like i don't be, think that be honest if they let people in the competition that built with duplo in their spare time not true <laughs> then you have to assume that they are taking the general level so not the worst and not the best but like do you really think that we couldn't join because we would be too good i don't think so man i think we would we we can join if we would ask oh 
Geoffrey's gone for a second, I think. Uh, welcome, Coconut Brick Studios. Welcome, man. I really enjoyed your finale video. It's doing well, man. Already at 6K views and almost 1K likes. Really happy for you. Really excited for you as well, man. Uh, I'm excited to see where your channel goes moving on to the future, in the future. Uh, it's been pretty impressive already. I think you would agree. I mean, it's your channel. But yeah, I really enjoyed um, your finale video, Coconut. Uh, props, props, man. Good job. Uh, and then he asks, is it is it hard to uh, jumping between Dismok and Genosis? Yes, I feel like, or no, yeah, I don't know. I feel like personally, uh, I'm way more invested in Genosis than I am in Dismok. Um, so Dismok, most of the time, is way less important for me. So I don't like some moments. I don't enjoy working on it that much. At least you would expect me to enjoy it more. Um, but like now, I'm really enjoying it, so I'm I'm all right with it. But yeah, I feel like it's not that hard. Just time management is hard because we need to combine it with uh, school. Uh, mm -hmm. But it's doable. Uh, it's a challenge and we can learn a lot from doing it. So that's why we have done it in the first place. But I feel like I'm way more invested in Geonosis. That's something that I need to admit. Uh, but for now, I'm really enjoying it, uh, building it right now. Yeah, thanks for uh, showing up to the stream. I really appreciate it. Thanks for supporting the series. Don't worry, man. It was with pleasure. Really enjoyed everything about it. Geoffrey, Geoffrey you're back, by the way. Yeah, thanks, man. I don't know what <laughs> happened. I was, uh, yeah, just gone. That's all right. <laughs> uh, welcome, Burrito Boys. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Glad you could make it, man. I'm uh, currently installing the platform from our uh, clone base series. Uh, and tomorrow I'll definitely uh, stream. Uh, how do you guys think? Yeah, you can see that well. I'll scoop it up a bit. Yeah, I don't know. You can't see it at all, but um, I looks, really like how how yeah, this works. It's, it's, it's looking out. nice, I think. Yeah, yeah, you'll see, man. If you come better out, than what I was expecting it to be, because it's such a, a small area to get some rocks in, but it's looking really good, I think. Yeah, it's looking good, man. I'm happy with it, definitely. Uh, I'm fine. Wait, wait. Uh, but yeah, Burrito Boys, how are you doing, man? How are you doing? And then Brickeo says, I want to start my big Umbara, but I need a lot of things. So I think I will start hopefully <laughs> in three or four years. That's a lot, man. Right. Hopefully you can buy some bricks for your birthday or for Christmas or whatever. Uh, Seabacon says, yo, something crazy just happened. I thought Coconut would be super good in Lego Monsters and then Coconut just appeared out of the bushes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but I don't think they really judge. Like, I don't think they neglect people that are good in building. I do think they make it into... Because I've seen some pretty crazy creations. Um, just our version, like the Belgian version, is not the best out there, I think. No, but like, again, if you're watching it, especially, for example, the Star Wars episode, you can really see that they, they like... Yeah, yeah, I don't know. That's, Taking that's the, the piss out of it. <laughs> yeah, but that's a bad example, man, that you can give. Like, I agree. Like, they totally screwed. Like, they they hurt my feelings. <laughs> Same. Um, but, yeah, that's not the best example, of course. But, uh, yeah, I, I agree with you, man. I agree. Okay. It's coming along really nicely. Just on the sides, I need to use plates instead of slopes, but I think that's all right. Also, it's a dark place underneath here. Like you won't see it uh, that good. So I don't, I don't mind. Oh, not three or four years. I mean, in a three, yeah, I, I know what you three mean. Three quarters Sorry. of a year. Yeah, three, yeah. Three quarters. Damn, we're... That's, that's better than three or four <laughs> years. <laughs> We're only been streaming for one hour, and it's it feels like what? We've been streaming <laughs> yeah, for looks ages. like a lot longer. <laughs> yeah, crazy man, crazy. crazy. Um, 
do you guys like making rock work? Yeah. I like I'm enjoying it right now and Geoffrey is pretty good at it and I, I'm also definitely getting better at it so yeah definitely uh, yeah we have to admit I like rock work I want to make a Clone Wars mock but make it super unique and weird so maybe make a scene from one of the worst Clone Wars arcs like the Mace Windu and Jar Jar one with a stone giant or ritual mm -hmm. thing <laughs> you need to watch that one. I was uh, looking between the episodes of season six, I think, and I saw that one and I was like, oh, <laughs> I remember that one. <laughs> yeah, and like it, it, it sounds like a fun one to make, but uh, yeah, not sure if you're going to get the most uh, attention out of it, but definitely one that you could try and experiment with a little bit. Uh, Wait, got to me... go. Sorry mm. for not being able to be here long. No worries, uh, Brick Battalion. Thanks for just oh, yeah. stopping by, man. Yeah, really appreciate the support. Like, guys, you have to remember, even though you're here not chatting, you give us watch hours, and even though you can't stay long, you you said you were here, you said hello, and like that that already means the world to us. So, thanks, man. Really appreciate it. Banking clan, the arc I don't want to rewatch. Oh, is that one with Clovis or is it yeah. one with the not Senate murders, but like when they were uh, voting on uh, new clone troopers in the Senate? That was also loads of banking clan shit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that the the banking clan himself is like with Clovis and going to the planet uh and stuff like that and then yeah. commander torn and his final stand with the minigun and stuff i think that's oh, that episode yeah i still need to watch that uh one. what will be on the platform um not sure good, good yet <laughs> if you guys uh, have any suggestions yeah a lot Maybe of things a... could be on it but nothing has been uh made certain yet yeah i'll uh, i'll uh turn it for you guys so you guys have a better look of it you guys have just will have to wait one more second i'm cleaning up a bit that's always nice when you're yeah <laughs> tamika kotter asks are you still getting more clone troopers yeah of course uh always getting more when yeah. we can get them i bought another set the other day uh oh. not clone troopers related but uh separatist related if anyone wants to guess what it is, uh, be my guest, I'd say. <clears throat> yeah, but, uh, clone troopers, like the, the next ones, will definitely be the custom ones. And we'll see when we end our series, like after our series, our phase one, at least. Uh, we're going to do some sort of phase one finale, and then we can start at phase two. Phase two will take a longer time, though. <laughs> um, yeah, definitely. <laughs> But uh, we'll see when we end our phase one. Like if we end it uh, mid July, then we can definitely get some more clone troopers in. Um, we True. still are getting some more clone troopers in, but it's uh, like not that many anymore. Maybe twenty or thirty in total at maximum. Not more than that. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we'll have to see. Uh, time will tell. Uh, I I wouldn't make it out of attention, but just passion. Yeah, that's fair, man. Like, if you want to make it, make it. Who knows? Maybe it blows up. Uh, and if not, if it's a nice mock and you are proud of it, that's basically all that matters, in my opinion. Yeah. Then Brickeo says, my, prob my problem with Umbara is that I need a very minifigure scale Umbaran MHC and a minifigure scale Umbaran Starfighter model. Uh, the instructions of the custom ATRT model I have already wink. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like uh, I'd I'd probably just uh, search a bit online. I'm pretty sure that there are a couple really good Umbaran uh, designs. Not completely certain if they're all minifigure scale though, but uh, I, yeah, you could probably find something that works or that you just have to tweak a little bit until it works. Uh, but yeah. That would work. Uh, Brick Arms got new Star Wars Custom Blaster. Haven't seen those yet. Maybe I should check it out because that's pretty interesting. Uh, <laughs> Brick Blast Production says the banking clan uh, in capital letters, like the SpongeBob meme. 
Um, Steve Kilowatts uh, says, question for GM Productions, is water wet? Max, answer the question, is water wet? It depends, man. Um, like, when when is something wet? Like, that's the question that you need to ask yourself. Yeah. Like, if it's wet, it, it can only be wet if it's out of the water. Yeah. So, so okay. like, <laughs> if, if we're being technical about it, the water particles that are at the surface of the water are wet and all the other particles are not wet except for the particles that are touching the bottom of the sea floor. So you have a little bit of wet water and all the other water isn't wet. <laughs> it, is, it isn't dry, but it... No, it isn't, isn't dry, wet. but it isn't wet. <laughs> So that's that's your answer. Brick Brother Productions asks, do you think you guys will ever do a ride at Mock? Yeah, definitely. Uh, like oh, we have yeah. a, we have a phase one to twelfth army, uh, and I think it will consist out of twenty four minifigs if we're done with the series or twenty five. So if we have twenty five phase one two hundred and twelve guys, we will have to use him, them in a mock. And yep one mock where they are really like one arc where they are really prominent in two or three episodes is the Rylot arc so we'll have to make a Rylot mock that's something that i want to do uh, and we could use the dark 10 that we will have to buy for the chrome base for it and the dark 10 that we will use in felucia for it so yeah that's something that i want to do yes uh tamika we will still be getting um 10 his 3D printed battle droids backpacks, but we haven't received them. Uh, they are on their way, hopefully, normally. Uh, that's all right, Steve Kilowatt. Thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate your support. I'm working on. Uh, um, Brick yeah. Chaos, like, just send me a message of them. I'm pretty sure that they aren't that hard to like design from the inside out. So I could like help you out probably a little bit with those. But like you're a pretty good builder, so I'm pretty sure that you can figure it out yourself. He says that he has found the models that he wants, but he can't find any instructions for them. So yeah, I can probably help at least a little bit. Did um, you send me the pictures of Exidroid his hall? Yeah. I mean, ain't gonna lie, it looks crazy. <laughs> And he says it's like only like 130 euros or something, like bro. Yeah, you definitely got work for your money. Yeah, indeed. That's crazy. Crazy stuff. Crazy, man. Welcome to the stream, Crazytivity. How also are things going Lego. with you? Oh, yeah, indeed, man. What's up? How are things going with your channel, mate? Uh, thanks for being here, Brick Blast Productions. Good luck with finishing your videos. Also, thanks for being here, Steve Kilowatt. Really appreciate your continued support. But hey, guys, I finished the platform. Like you guys can oh, see, yes. like, I know lightning is bad, but it's just to give you guys an idea of how it looks. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with it. Looks way better in real life, <laughs> but I'm really happy with it. Uh, looks really good. So yeah, I'm I'm happy with how this looks so far. Oh, Welcome to the stream. Oh. Not that Sam Smith. Uh, mm. Scott says, sorry, guys, I'm still here. Just was building the Imperial Shuttle Polybag promo I got whilst listening. That's fine, man. Did you enjoy the build? Yeah, sounds cool, man. Imperial Shuttle mm. Polybag promo. Like, we got one promo. Oh, it's, it, it's not in this room, but it's like an Easter bunny. I know. It's, why is it an Easter promo? Like Easter was I don't know. already long gone when we bought <laughs> that. Am I right or am I wrong? <laughs> uh, no it's clue. When stupid. did you get it? No idea, man. Uh, welcome, Consider Bricks. How are you doing, man? Nice platform. Yeah, it looks really good. Like you guys can't see it properly, but um, I like in the episodes it was well, like this, but um, it wasn't sturdy at all. It wasn't properly installed. And now I properly installed the beams underneath, so it's now really sturdy and really like you you can work with it. Uh, uh, we will have to change the back a bit. At first we had um, like oh, 
at first it um, was supported by two bricks and now it's just one i mean like one one white brick mm -hmm. one white so we'll have to change this up but uh, yeah really happy with how the platform looks the height etc is okay and the other thing i did was make the river a bit longer and wider and then also um, installed some rock work to hide the construction of the beams itself like the the construction that holds the beams up uh, i hide that with some rock work that looks really nice just the shadows of my room like <laughs> screw it um but it looks really <laughs> good in my opinion and in the building episode you guys will definitely see it way better um, also i've seen some really nice suggestions for this room like some people said native air uh, native ang um na god damn it max native animals like a, a place yeah. for native ang uh, animals some said prison i think more than one people said uh, prison some said storage room some said sewers with pipes um another guy said yeah there were really cool suggestions like really appreciate that you guys uh, gave us such great suggestions we'll definitely yeah we'll definitely go with the one that get, got, gets the most maybe like i've seen some people say uh, the same thing so maybe we will go with the one that has the most votes or, or do a community poll or something but really cool um, yeah definitely yeah, really cool suggestions Sam, really nice Thanks. Sam yeah, says yeah. that he's working on the training facility room for mm -hmm. the Camino mock. That's nice, man. Hope that turns out good. Yeah, like you can do like some that. fun stuff with that. I feel. True. Uh, another need problem. To watch your last um, episode, Oof. Sam. But I'll I'll definitely do that when I find some time. Um, Rikio yeah. says another problem with Umbara is that I need another twenty-eight five of first battle packs. And these are around 600 euros, man. Do you really you need to get another yeah. 20? Like 28, how big is that mock going to be? Like, just just be real with me for a second. How big is that mock going to be? If you say another, that means that, like, you imply that you have at least one already. So, like, if you go with at least one, that means that you're going to use uh, 116 clone troopers in that mock. Like just five or first trooper, one hundred and sixteen. Like, mate, how big is no, your umpara yeah. gonna be? That's, and that's Brick crazy. Is that, that isn't smart, man. Like, you will build umbara and then you'll look at the pieces you got for umbara. You you will probably spend around two thousand euros or something on that mock, and you'll look at your pieces and decide on your next mock project, and you'll see that you can't use all Most of those of pieces. Them. Yeah, like black. You can't use them and the battle packs the 501st yeah sure you can make another 501st mod, but that's not smart man that's just my opinion and Geoffrey's opinion as well don't go overkill with umbara because yeah. you will go Indeed. overkill with something else and then you can use like if you build a clone base go overkill with it do what you want to do but at least afterwards you have loads of brown dark 10 rock work dark green whatever and you can use all those pieces in other mocks, but Umbara that size, no, it's a bit too big, in my opinion. For a polybag, it looks pretty good. The Homestead promo was available online in any store, but polybag was just only in store. That's nice, Scott. Glad that you like enjoyed a uh, little build. I. I'm pretty sure that I haven't actually seen it, so I have no clue how it looks. But how <laughs> are you? But by the way that you're describing it, it's it's at least a little good. I love uh, the snot technique for the platform. It looks pretty pretty good. Thanks, uh, Brickeos. Uh, it isn't the most crazy thing. I've been thinking about changing it up a bit, but that's probably for later stages in the mock. Like when I see what kind of pieces I still have left, I can tweak it a little. But uh, yeah, this is a final design for now. Welcome, Commando Brick. Glad you could be here, man. Really appreciate it. Uh, I just installed this platform. Uh, like it was already installed in the building series, but it was really bad and not sturdy at all. And now I properly connect it. I hide the, um, like I hide the, 
like technique that I used underneath to get those beams up. So I'm really happy with this. You can't see it because of the shadows, sorry, but in the building episode, it will explain and show it to you properly. But I'm really happy with how this looks. So that's what I've been doing while you were on school probably. But thanks, man, really appreciate you showing up to the stream. And we have uh, 47 likes. So guys, if you haven't already Oof. dropped a like, do that. And thanks, guys, for um, like for being here. It's been a long time that we had such good stream. Our last four streams or something were not that good. I mean, sure, like a stream is a stream, but this one has been really good so far. So really appreciate it. Yeah. And then uh, Spider Egg, that's all right, man. You're still uh, here listening to our voices. That means a lot, man. Really appreciate it. And good luck with that yeah. uh, May the fourth special. I'm excited to see it. So what's Rick the next thing that I can says do? that he wants to make uh, his Zimbabwe mock special. But yeah, hey, Brick Chaos, don't yeah, worry about I don't know, it. Man. Like, if you really want to make a crazy Umbara, go for it. But just my advice, like we, even though we have a pretty big mock budget, we we want to make Umbara, but if we make Umbara, it will not be a big one. Like, yeah, man, it's hard. Like if you do Umbara, please do the airport or something like do something with the buildings and with the yeah I, or like save save some like then you invest money in bricks that are worth buying instead of black black yeah. like investing thousand euros in black doesn't pay off that well um but hey i get you man like i really wanted to build a genesis mock that is no really longer. expensive yeah so like definitely chase your dreams and and go for it that but in in my opinion like yeah, if i'm it. thinking about it if 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 you go about it the right way for example you can do the main road you could do the airport you could do the cat the capital city because that isn't shown in the tv show so you could do it a lot different in in your own way and make that look really nice and stand out because nobody has done the capital city i'm pretty sure and that was like the main thing about the arc they needed to get to the capital city but to get there they needed to get to the airport and stuff like that so you could do something like that and it's still umbara or you could do one of the um y-wing bombing runs and make like a, a great wall of fire that's bombing the area or something like there are still a lot of crazy things that you can do to be original that doesn't necessarily um restrict you to just put down a lot of black but yeah, definitely like take a look at the different scenes and come up with something that's different. And um, yeah, maybe try to look for. Yeah, you're glitching out a bit, Geoffrey. Uh, Tamika, we bought both. We bought the real realistic style and also the Clone Wars style. So you will see both in our video. If we, that one will come out pretty soon. Um, but yeah, we need to receive them first. So we can't promise, but the mock is already finished and we're ready to make that video. We still are waiting on the backpacks. That's nice, legendary, legendary Lego. Enjoy it, man. Uh, enjoy playing it. Uh, appreciate that you listen to our voices while playing it. Welcome, Gura. Welcome to stream, man. How are you doing today? Glad you could make the stream. Sid Bacon says, now I want to just buy a bunch of Fire Force Battle Packs builds just for Exidroids ATRT. I don't care for the troopers because I don't like the 200, 2020 style clones and I find some selling bark and ATRT eight dollars per plus ES4 of them. Um yeah, we still need to buy the five of first battle pack. And if we are buying it, then we'll buy two at least, uh six at maximum. So we're aiming at four battle packs why because we think it's a bit overrated in my opinion it's overrated a bit um yeah it isn't that good sure the fits are good and the droids in it are always nice but i don't know it isn't that good um i'm more tempted to buy the imperial transport for example than the fire first battle pack 
but uh, yeah, I guess you can definitely sell the bark and the ATRT. Like my opinion, the bark is bad. I don't know why they included it in the Bad Batch at all. Just a waste of like making it more expensive for nothing. But hey, that's my opinion. Yeah, Geoffrey, you're back right now. I can hear that that you were glitching out for a bit again. <laughs> But okay, um, so the next thing I could do is work on the other side here. Um, yes, I could do that. The problem is, or it's not really a problem, but I should get some bigger plates than I don't want to use. Hmm. Welcome back, Burrito Boy. Like the next thing that we will have to do is connect um, these areas with each other. Uh, so I've done it here. Uh, and now I need to make this look clean. So we'll have to see how we can achieve that. Now, just looking at it, I am thinking about making a bit, it a bit wider, the river, just a little bit. Uh, just an extra, some extra pieces. Um, been working on mocks all day. That's fun, man. Or <laughs> I hope it. I hope you had fun because. <laughs> oh, welcome Tony Hardy. Welcome to the stream, man. Glad you could make the stream. That's indeed a long time no see, man. Really appreciate you being here. How are you? Hope you're doing well. I'm currently working on the clone base. Uh, I installed the platform like it it wasn't properly installed and now I properly installed the platform. So that's nice, I guess. Finally, <laughs> I want to see how Lego makes their instructions. How do you mean from which set uh, of bacon or the newer or like the, the newer ones moving on uh, to the in the future? <clears throat> Yeah, Geoffrey, where are you, man? Geoffrey is gone again, guys. He left us. He left us. That's not fun. <laughs> not fun at all. Hopefully, yeah, just have been working in school stuff school stuff a lot recently yeah same man we just um like it's doable but it isn't fun at all really mm. yeah I'm, I'm a bit bored <laughs> on school uh like i begin with the online le lessons like like motivated but just the lessons itself take so much time to process and uh it's been a struggle so yeah hmm. i'm a bit yeah all right okay that's all right Geoffrey. um but yeah school has been busy for me as well and for g as well so we can relate we can relate but yeah i hope you're doing a great time my review sucks right now. That ha that happens. That happens. Welcome back, um, Bricks on YouTube. How are you doing, man? Um, yeah, I'll have to see here how we want to tackle this area, right? How do we want to do this? Um, yeah, how do I want to do this? Good freaking question. No idea. <laughs> like it's it needs to look good, of course. I'm so glad that we bought 500 of these pieces. Like <laughs> we will have to use them a lot for the mountain itself. Because we're now using uh, a lot of our smaller bricks for the terrain. Uh, and those bigger bricks will definitely help us out 
uh, a lot. So that's really nice, I guess. That's good. I have a couple things already for May the Fourth. Yeah, we we didn't think about May the Fourth. Like that's kind of unfortunate now that I'm thinking of it. Like we should have prepped something for May the Fourth, but hey. We didn't do anything, sadly enough, so nothing that we can do about it. Uh, but yeah, next year we'll try to, um, yeah, we'll try to do do it next year. Do you think we'll ever see see Cat Bane again? Hmm, in my opinion, like it was a really dark, sinister, and interesting um, character that would make for a great crime yeah great crime movies thing i don't know so i don't know i i hope they bring them back one day um can't say it can't promise it but it definitely deserves to be back uh it was a great character for sure um yeah enjoyed enjoyed him a lot one of the coolest bounty hunters for sure yeah definitely one of the better ones out there so we'll have to see of course we'll have to see but uh, i hope we see uh, him back would be nice would be really nice <clears throat> oh this one is a bit too big I'll have to search some bigger plates because now I'm using smaller ones. I don't want to use smaller ones, but I know where the bigger plates are, but I don't want to leave you guys alone. So uh yeah, we'll we'll get the bigger plates eventually. Uh we can now just try to continue working with these ones. Uh does the job, so don't worry about it. Like, I'm really happy with how this looks so far. Looks great. This will be so cool. We'll, we're still decide, deciding on which uh, water, like which water pieces we want to use. I feel like trans clear bricks will look way better than blue, um, but that would be really expensive. So yeah. It's, bit of a dilemma we don't really know which we want to use uh so we'll have to see wait and see i guess uh but yeah it's something that uh we are thinking about doing using dark not dark uh using transparent white not really transparent white just transparent bricks uh, transparent plates I want to post something on Insta for May the Fourth. What should I do? No idea, C Bacon. Like, I really regret not thinking about May the Fourth. Like, I thought about it, but I we haven't prepared anything, and it's a bit too late now to prepare something for May the Fourth. So, we'll just have to stick with it, I guess. Um, again, some German in the chat. Um, yeah. Not not gonna read it. My brain can't hand can't handle it right now. I'm going to release my um, UT80 instructions for free made of fort so every, everyone can enjoy the set. Yeah, man, uh, Tony, we like I'm pretty sure that I know, like, yeah, I'm pretty sure that I know uh, on which like about what you're talking right now. Um, Geoffrey was thinking about. Like if we have the pieces, including it in this clone base mock, uh, because we have the space for it. And besides the clone base and the village and the bombing run, all those scenes will take place in the up uh, on the upper eight base plates. So we still have another eight base plates where it's kind of boring. So we still maybe need to spice it up. And it would be nice to use your design for that area. 
uh, we'll see, I guess. Me over here releasing an, an ATR to, yeah. Burrito, everybody has to start somewhere. Like our, our custom designs, like besides the spider droid maybe, and uh, uh, crab droids, our custom designs are also really small and yeah, they look good. Don't get me wrong, but a bit uh, like low tier. So don't worry about it, man. Everybody has to start somewhere. But yeah, really happy with how this looks. Could have done a better job, I think. No, definitely not. Um, me over here. Oh yeah, already read that. But yeah, how uh, how are you doing, Tony Hardy? How are you doing? My man just completed. Completely blew me out of the water, low. How, how do you mean, Burrito Boy? Explain, explain. Hmm, I'm thinking, because here we're going to do a 10 transition. Like, this will be dark 10 moving upwards. Or maybe we need to do brown a bit. No. Like, this part will all be dark 10 normally. And this here will be rock work, like here. So maybe I can put in some more rock piece slopes. Um, or maybe do another layer. Maybe do another layer on here. Could work as well. I'll probably do that. Let me reinstall the platform. And then we'll take a look at uh, the other side. Uh, come on, I, I did it, I did it. Yeah, it's really sturdy now. I'm really happy with how it turned out. All right, I guess we can uh, continue working on this part here. Yeah, I guess we can. I have a feeling we can. Uh, thanks for the inclusion of the ship. It's not that expensive to build. Yeah, indeed. Um, like we were also like if we're going to include it, we'll use the we'll use pieces. Yeah, we will definitely if we need some piece if we need to buy some pieces, we'll do that. Don't get me wrong. But uh we were also looking at it and uh saying to ourselves like most pieces we have in our collection, so maybe we can uh, we can fix it without buying too many pieces. So yeah, that's something. Oh, this piece will work perfectly here. Oh yeah, that works perfectly here. Pro the problem is that I don't. Oh, I'll I'll turn it around a bit. Oh, you can't see shit because of the shadow. Hmm. Sorry, guys. Uh, yeah, I like this here, but I don't like the fact that. So boring now. So we'll have to spice it up a bit by using some other pieces. The question is which pieces? Like I can use something like this. And then I guess we could do it like this. Uh, and then we'll have to. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> How much is the approximate? Joffrey's still in chat. He's gone. Oh, he's here in the chat. Oh, welcome. The big brick. Welcome to the stream. Glad you could make it, man. I really appreciate you being here. Ooh, 50 likes, guys. Thanks. Our stream goal is achieved. And this was a really good stream so far. So uh, I'm happy. I'm a happy man. Happy man for sure. Happy guy. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um the problem that i face right now is this plate here like it could be um how do you say it yeah it could be end product with this plate here and then we work our rock work around here make a nice edge and then continue upwards but 
it also could be not the end product. So like, because we are still deciding on which room we want to build in there. Um, so yeah, that's the thing. Uh, and also we want to build our rock work around it, like on, on the snot platform. We want to make a nice transition between the rock work here on the snot, snot platform. So that's also, that's also a thing that thing that we need to keep in mind. When will you reach the 4K watch time? Ooh, that's still a long, a uh, long time. Um, yeah, to be honest, we will reach 2K watch time. Um, like we're we're at 2K watch time right now. If I'm being honest, so um, yeah, you could say that we. Yeah, that it will still be a long time. <laughs> um, but the thing is, we were at um, how many watch time? Like we're gaining really fast right now. Uh, we started streaming. We started with the two building series. We improved our videos and content, in our opinion. It's way better than before. Um, and we see that because the view time of our videos improved a lot. Uh, we do streams now, so we stream a lot and we gained, yeah, like every month we gain more than 400 watch time, uh, watch hours. So in the summertime, we'll definitely, definitely reach it. Uh, it would be weird if we not, if we don't reach it. Um, but yeah, we, we haven't like, we only have started trying to be monetized since uh february so we've been doing this grind for just yeah for just uh three months now not even three months uh yeah three months now um so like you can't expect us to get have already 4k watch hours but we're gaining 420 hours a month so quick maths you know we will definitely reach it and we already had so much hours because of nabu etc so we'll reach it pretty soon i'm aiming at 3k watch hours the beginning of july and then july will just go crazy uh and we'll hopefully hit uh the 4k around that period beginning of august or something that's our goal that's the thing we're aiming for and we're doing a pretty good job so i expect us to get get there pretty soon i i changed it up instead of using this piece i now use some bricks to um, make it look good and i'm happy with how it looks so i'm happy uh, I've sent in another couple applications to Lux. Current Lux count is five. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> yeah. Maybe one day we will create our own Lux or join one. Don't know. Um, it's not our plan currently. Uh, do you guys have any ideas for a large scale mock? Ooh, good question, the big brick. Mm. Large scale mock. Yeah, man, it depends which which area would you like it to be. Prequels, sequels, the original trilogy, uh, Clone Wars. Uh, if you could point us in a direction, we will definitely come up with a nice idea. Uh, the big brick. Um, but yeah, five looks pretty crazy. <laughs> Pretty crazy, pretty crazy. Ever want to join a look? Mm. Yeah, we'll see, man, we'll see. Not interested in that currently. We first really want to focus on our channel as much as possible. Uh, do that awesome collab series with some YouTubers um, in the beginning of July. And uh, after that, if we are monetized and have hit 2K uh, subs, then we, we, then we can take a look at branching out and do, joining some logs. But for now, our main goal is 2K steps, monetization, and uh, yeah, just we're really enjoying it. So 
just keep up the grind keep up the streams and uh, talk with you guys enjoy the subscriber engagement part of youtube uh also pretty sure that we like Geoffrey will have to send a message to Jonek Toys, but pretty sure that we have enough people that have that have bought our uh that have bought on Jonek Toys with our code to have some uh a, spe a, a free not really free but a sort of free order coming in so we can buy some more custom weapons for this mock uh, and if we haven't reached it then we'll just maybe need one other guy so if anyone is interested code gm5 uh, would be appreciated for sure we also bought this custom visor for the captain of the horn company don't remember his name um yeah don't remember his name became an admin for a luck as well Ooh, sounds cool man for which lux which lux are we in burrito boy which lux are we in man i'm happy with progress he's been great so far the stream as well man really appreciate it i don't know if joffrey will come back for the last uh 15 minutes don't know don't know But yeah, long time that we had such great stream. So it means a lot, guys. Really enjoyed it. Um, I need to get up early tomorrow, sadly enough. <laughs> um, normally, I have school in the afternoon, but I need to work. I don't need to, but I want to work in the evening. Um, so that's why I decided or like switched with someone that had uh, lessons in the before midday but now i need to get up at 7 7 a.m i know for some people 7 a.m is peanuts but i'm i'm not i'm not a not a guy that likes the mornings so i'm kind of yeah don't want to get up at 7 a.m it's way too early for me um so yeah it will hurt a bit yep it will hurt much but hey nothing to do about it uh captain lock yeah could be captain lock could be totally definitely maybe uh 105 cadets don't know that luck fox luck i know that luck fox luck brick luck 99 i don't know that luck as well 21st luck uh heard of it don't know them that well which i'm an admin for and see troopers luck may apply to doom luck yeah doom luck i know as well uh but you know fox luck is the only one that like fox luck and 21st luck rings a bell i've seen stuff from uh, fox luck but never seen stuff from the other i have to go to work now it was nice to catch up i'll try to attend more streams yeah thanks tony uh, we will be streaming tomorrow same hours and probably work on this mock um, tamika asks do you play battlefront <clears throat> 2 or splatoon games um i've played star wars battlefront 2 a lot but uh, lately i only play gta and some strategic games so haven't been playing any of those games uh, see bacon i'm writing the script for my insta post tomorrow do you want to like reveal something see bacon what are your plans for tomorrow what's a look yeah lego user group um so yeah i don't know they do some sort of activities to together uh, maybe me and g need need to join the belgium luck there are some lucks in belgium that are pretty big maybe we just need to join them uh, that's a fun thing we're pretty <clears throat> like for exidroid and our dutch viewers we are pretty known but i think the we are not that known in the lego community in belgium itself i think we're a bit like no yeah like we're not that known i think some people 
we could be easily the biggest Lego creators from Belgium. Could be, or at least know that Creativity guy has way more subs, and he's um, uh, and he's also from Belgium. So, but uh, yeah, I don't think many people know in Belgium that we exist. Um, so yeah, joining a luck in Belgium, maybe we make some cool friends. Uh, maybe we have some ad advantages from it, uh, some cheaper bricks or something like along those lines. Uh, nice mat for mat. Nice mat for mat. How do you mean? Like, are you talking about this mat? Like, in Dutch, is it in Dutch? This is called mat. So I'm kind of I don't know in English, but I'm pretty sure it's just the same mat. Uh, nice mat for mat. And like, are you saying that because there are squares and numbers on it, or? <laughs> Why, man? She's on top. Welcome to welcome to the stream, by the way. Don't think I've seen you here earlier. Uh, welcome, man. Glad you could make it. Uh, <laughs> you script your posts. Let's see, they can. Brito boys, we we also script our posts. Like it's it's nice, but I mean, just wing it on the go, low. That's also nice, man. Just just do it. Ever need a good reference for the twenty first? Just let me know. Uh, yeah, you can always send us uh, something on Instagram, Brito. Oh man, I'm getting really tired, but uh, we're not going to stream for that much longer. A few more minutes. In German, Mathe. Yes, indeed, probably. Could be. Probably, probably. So the Bad Batch, does anyone know when it's it releases like an hour or something or does nobody know of course i don't know man like we're, we're thinking about doing something with it a short series about the bad batch uh lego related then talk about the ids that could or lego set ids so something along those lines it just reminds me of grab paper. I guess it's used, used for something in the shop. Um, yeah, it's used for, I make maquettes. Uh, I make buildings out of, uh, how is it called? I, I can show you guys an example. I'll be back in a second. Uh, like, give me, give me 30 seconds. I'll be back. Voila, this is what I make on this mat. It's a cutting mat for making maquettes. <laughs> uh, this is a house that I designed. <laughs> like you guys can see. Pretty cool, I think. It's pretty big, like you guys can see. Um, it's like you can take it apart fully. I don't know if anyone is interested in this stuff. I'm I'm just showing it to you guys, but uh, yeah, you can take it apart easily. Like it's modular, uh, so yeah, really easy to explain and show things. Um, I think the thickness of the walls is correct, uh, not the thickness of these um, support beams. But uh, hey, furthermore, everything is correct, so uh, you can take it apart pretty easily. Or, oh, I see that some parts have broken by now. Could be the case. Some loose connections here and there. But yeah, you can you can take it apart really easily. Um, like, take everything of it. But yeah, that's where, where I use my mat for. Um, oh. Some connections are a bit stronger than other ones. All right. And uh, the underside, uh, I have some floor, like I, I divided the rooms, like you guys can see. So I divided the rooms, etc. So 
pretty cool. That's why I use this cutting mat for. So now you guys know <laughs> what I've been doing all day long. No, no, this project, uh, I've been working on this for six, six weeks. So. Hi, I'm new here. Welcome, Dennis Akiel. Welcome to the stream, man. Glad you could make it. Um, normally, this is a Lego channel. Sorry, I'm not showing anything uh, Lego related right now. But uh, glad you could make it, man. Really appreciate you being here. How are you doing, man? Uh, it, releases, it releases at like 8 a.m. for me in the UK. 8 a.m. So that's in the morning, right? Why so early? Why do they re release it so early? Yeah, that's crazy, man. That's 12 a.m. Pacific. Um, yeah, I'll have to search uh, which time that is in Belgium. But if Burrito says 8 a.m. in the UK, then it will be 9 a.m. here. Oh, man, I regret going to school tomorrow morning. I really want to see the Bad Batch. Like, I'm, I'm super excited for it. Oh, yes, finally, I had a hard time putting this thing together. Um, <laughs> Max and Bauer, yes, indeed, I'm building, I'm building a house. Um, I put my, I'll put my Insta um, script in chat. Don't worry, it's short. Oh, that's good. That's cool, man. I'm, I'm interested. Hi, did you watch the animation victory and that on uh, Wolf, Wolf Wolf YouTube channel? No, Tamika, but I'll do that uh, after stream maybe. Sounds interesting. Uh, I'm probably gonna buy the PVTX 130 soon. Don't really know what that means or what that is, man, but uh, I guess go for it, enjoy it. Um, yep, I'll I'll be in school tomorrow, so I'll be off social media until I can watch it. No, only me, I'll be spoiled in a stupid way. Yeah, yeah, def yeah, probably. Um, I'm also probably going to watch it when I get home from school. Immediately watch it. Like, I can't wait. Really interested in it. It's going to be epic. Oh, yes, this is done. So, yeah, this is what I do on school. Make buildings <laughs> uh, for school. Study architecture. So, so you guys know. Um, Okay, these Jenna, Jenna, damn, I have a hard time like speaking that word. These genetically modified clones journey started over six years ago on April 16, 2015. Yeah, the screening panel of the Bad Batch story reels from at the time was a cancelled from our season seven. Oh, like you're giving, Um, like you're giving a summary. Ooh, that's fun, man. That's really fun. See, Bacon, that's a really cool post. Uh, post. Um, is a brick fault for public fighter tank. Oh, oh, awesome. Yeah, that's a cool design. Welcome, Alex F. You've kind of catched the end. I'm going to wrap up the stream pretty fast. Um, let me take the mock so we can give a summary of what we have done this stream. Uh, I'm going to put this away. <laughs> so I'll be back in, I don't know, maybe a second or something. I'm just going to throw this back on my shelf with the others. Right. Pretty sure that you guys can still hear me, right? Because I'm now talking, or maybe far in the background you will hear me. Now coming closer, I'm closing in, and voila, I'm I'm here. Oh, don't worry about it, Alex F. Like you can do anything about it, so don't worry. Gotta go by. That's all right, Brick Chaos. We're gonna wrap up the stream, so don't worry about it, man. Thanks, really appreciate you being here. 
So everybody, if you haven't liked the stream, definitely go do that. So what have we done today? We properly installed this platform area um, because in the building episodes, it was already um, installed, but it wasn't done properly at all. So <laughs> it was pretty bad. So I now properly installed the platform area. Uh, looks pretty good, really happy with it. Did some rock work around the construction that I made. Did some rock work here. Um, so we made some progress. Uh, it was a tedious work to uh, make this, connect this, but now it's finished. So I'm really happy with it. Uh, I see a familiar face in chat. So yeah, it looks like this sturdy connection, really cool. Uh, I know it's dark, you can't see it that well, so sorry for that, guys. Uh, but you guys will see it in the next Building a Chrome Maze episode. I'll properly show you guys. Welcome, First Order Lego. You catch the end, man. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I was about to wrap up, but really appreciate you showing up. Good progress. I like the support beams. Means a lot, First Order Lego. Um, you you should, you should uh, check out, like, the last... You don't have to, of course, but um, if you're interested, definitely check out the last episode of Geonosis or definitely check out the one, the next one that I'll be uploading um, by the end of this week or beginning next week or something. I made some great progress on Geonosis and you were pretty interested in that a while ago. So worth checking out, in my opinion. You don't have to though. If you have the time, definitely make sure to watch it. Uh, nice platform, really like the technique. Thanks, Alex. I really appreciate it, man. Um, I'm going to wake up at 6.30. That's <laughs> that's early, man. So I can watch it before school. Yeah. Crazy, man. Crazy, man. No, I'm I'm just going to watch it right after I'm home from, from school. So I'm home around midday. Um, so yeah, I'll definitely watch it right away. I'll keep an eye for sure. Thanks uh, for the Lego. Lego, really appreciate it. Welcome, most marvelous mocks. Sorry, man, you catch the end. I'm going to wrap up the stream. Uh, really appreciate your continued support on our videos, by the way, and on our streams. Thanks for being here. But yeah, how are you, most marvelous mocks? How are you? Hope you're having a good day. But yeah, guys, really enjoyed talking to you guys. We had a great stream. We ended the stream with 50. 55 likes, so great streams. We had uh, 10 viewers all the time. Uh, in the beginning, we had 20 viewers or even 19 viewers. So great stream. Really enjoyed it. So talking to you guys. Thanks, everyone. Tomorrow we will stream same hours. Uh, we will continue building on this mock, probably do some rock work, um, tackle this area here, maybe detail the like, terrain a bit more with some tiles but yeah tomorrow will be fun so i hope that i see you guys tomorrow if not uh the next video will be on will it be tomorrow or wednesday the next video don't know for sure but yeah thanks guys for being here really appreciate it um yeah the stream is crazy the stream was really fun so um hope you all have a great day or night or whatever enjoy the bad batch tomorrow um, we'll talk about it next stream if every, everybody has seen it uh, in chat. Otherwise, we can't really talk about it. Uh, but hey, I'm excited for sure. Hope you guys enjoy it as well. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye, guys. And uh, yeah, may, may the force be with you all tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.